Welcome back. In the previous steps, we looked at before and at after annotations to do the interceptions. In this step, we will look at something called an around advice, which is used to do more advanced stuff with aspect oriented programming. I'll call it copy the after AOP aspect, control C, control V, and call this. What we would want to do is we'll use the around advice to find the timing. So how much time is a method execution taking? So I'll say method execution calculation aspect. What we want to do here is we would want to not add after written. So I'll delete the method which is below. And what we want to do here is we would want to be able to use an annotation called around advice. Around. Import around. And once you have the around advice, I can define the point cut. I would use the same point cut that we were using earlier. So I would go to the user access thing and get the data. I'll want to track the business executions. So let's change that to business and let's import around in. Okay. The thing with around is it gives you a thing. I mean, I'd, with the around advice, you don't have a result as such yet. We would use something called proceeding join point. So the proceeding join point would allow you to continue with the execution of the method. So I would intercept it. I would allow the method to proceed and then find the time taken. So what I will do to find out the method execution time in here is I'll say start time is this. I'll say start time is equal to x. Next, I'll allow execution of method and then I'll say end time is equal to y and then calculate the difference between y and x to find out what is the time taken to execute that method. This is around advice. So let's change that in here. Let's have a simple variable long start time is equal to system dot get current time in milliseconds. So we have registered the start time. Next, I would want the method to continue execution. So the way I can ask the method to continue execution is by saying join point dot proceed. So the method would execute now. This would throw an exception. Throw I can actually surround with a try catch or add throws. I'll choose for throws. And after the method completes execution, I would actually want to say long time taken is equal to current time minus start time. And let's log it in here. So time taken by this join point is and print time taken. Now let's quickly look at what we are doing. So we are using the point cut from earlier. So we are intercepting business methods. We are using around advice so that we can intercept the call of a method and execute it. And then after the execution, do something. So before the execution, I can do something. After the execution, I can do something else. So this, this is much more flexible than the before and after advices because here I can actually do something around the invocation. So before the invocation, I'm doing something. I continue with the execution. And after the execution, I'm doing something. This is cool, isn't it? So now, Let's see how much time the methods took. So time execute time taken by execution is 39 milliseconds. And is there another one? It's 46 milliseconds. So all that stuff is now being printed out. So you can find out how much time a method is taking to execute. So here you can expand the aspect. So if you want to also track data, then you can just say dot dot then it would track all the things which are executed inside this thing. So I don't want to do that. I leave it at business. You can play around with the point cuts and try and understand this specific thing much more. In this step, we looked at around advice. We looked at intercepting a method, allowing it to proceed, doing something before it and after it. This is much more powerful advice than all the other stuff which we looked at. So this would end the different kinds of aspects that are present with Spring AOP and Aspect J in general. So the things which we looked at are before, after, after returning, after throwing, and around. These are the different kinds of advices which are present in any typical AOP framework. Until the next step, bye-bye.